Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You are what you believe you are. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 78, NASDAQ up 70, S&P's up 24, gold contract up $11.50, traded at 1857 an ounce. You got silver down 37 cents, $23.86 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 384, $73.11 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 18 ticks at 113.06. The 30 year up one full point plus nine ticks at 127.16. You get the 10 year right now yielding 3.7. High for the last three months was 4.2, or three, the low was 3.4 or 3.7. King dollar. King dollar is down 263 ticks, trading 104.259. Euro out here at 106. Yen is at 132.59. The British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Well, let's go into the futures first because these have been bouncing around like a good 10, 12 points every, you know, 15 minutes here. So... I suspect that's not going to end. That's how it normally shakes out. When you get a range going, um, you know, you're just going to keep doing it. And <laughs> in this particular case, let's see where we're at. We're at, okay, so this, this bar is finishing. You can see what's happening. Okay, so we're coming into a bar here that had, when, with, with, yeah, that was at 1,400 hours. So at 2 o'clock, when the Fed minutes come out from the last meeting, uh, you had the bar spike up to, a price point of uh, 38.93, then spike down to 38.59, and literally, you know, a heartbeat, right? Bottom line is that that's the bar you're going against, and that bar had a lot of volume, 30, uh, 80, 89,000 contracts. Well, we just did 35,000, and you, what you're doing here, you're going to end at the lower end of that bar. That's saying to me that you're going to, once again, it's going to try to go into these lows again. So I suspect you're going to see a draw down into the 3848 and this will be a trip man because it, we're at 70 okay so you're talking about another 22 points that it can go test this bottom once again let's go take a look at the nqs so we take a look at the nqs up here what do you have with the nqs which we know are the weakest um same type of setup though you can see that you know it's the same range uh, the bar went at 2 o'clock, that got all the way up to 11,064, and the low of that was 11,940. Uh, what we just did, it, it, now that bar had, uh, what, 37,000 contracts. We just committed to that with 16,000, and, you know, we'll see how this bar operates. But that's also saying that you're going to be back down the lower end of this bar. Now, let's go take a look at the gold contract. So gold, gold has held up, uh, bottom line, you, the volume's good, too. The volume's not bad. That being said, you know, bottom line is that, you know, both days here, you, you haven't, well, thus far, we'll see whether they can hold the highs of yesterday. We're $2 above it right now. We had a high of uh, 1871. You are at 1858 right now. Now, the, the swing that it's taken out is 1836. 36? Yeah, 1836. That is the swing that goes back like five months ago. If we go to the, let's go to the GDX, you know, some of these, there's no doubt, volume came into these babies. So if you go to the GDX, we take a look at the GDX, what you're going to see, now you, you, you take in over the, the first volume we had is 50 million. The second one was 27, you're at 23 right now. So you do have a contraction, you know, we'll see whether they can hold this. What I suspect, we're gonna, well, let's go to the dollar and I'll tell you where, where, where my head's going here. This, this, this is going to be... Well, it's tricky already, but it's going to be a little more tricky. So if we look at the dollar, what you have with the dollar is that the dollar, you know, had strength yesterday. It rejected lower price today. So that's telling me that you have the 107 to 108 area. And where I'm going with that, that's just, I'm just going that you got a dead cat bounce. A 0.382 is a 107, 07. A 0.50 is a 108. If we do get to the 0.618, that's going to be a 109, 300. 
But I expect that that is what we are actually going to see. Now, if we go over to silver, this is where this gets interesting. Silver, you know, basically led the gold market up, and silver's down today. It's like, okay, why? So there's divergence. There's no, there's no doubt about that. that. That's divergence, okay? The high, the high of yesterday, we got up to a high yesterday, had good volume behind it, 69,000 contracts. You traded up to a price point of 24.77. Today, uh, bottom line is that you, you're pulling back down. And you've done 58,000 contracts, and it's like, you know, that, that is pure divergence. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, and we'll see whether we actually have volume out here. You have uh, Tesla's up $5.5. You have, let's see, uh, Amazon's flat. You get Apple up a buck forty. We have uh, Ma Bell up 38 cents. You have uh, Verizon up 97 cents. Uh, Micron Tech is up 350. If we go inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the Dow and the strength inside the Dow. What you have strength-wise out here, uh, you have Boeing putting 49 positive points, Salesforce 31, Visa 28, taken away from it. United Health minus 106, Microsoft minus 75, Honeywell minus 30. Let's just go to Microsoft for a second. See, the, the NDX is it's just so weak, it's amazing, actually. So Microsoft, look at this, it gapped down. Microsoft's and ABC down. Oh my God, look at this. Wow. So your A point on Microsoft, 263. Your B point, 233. So yeah, there's 30 bucks. That's going to get you 215. What's this low out here? 213 is the low. We're going after the low, man. And oh, look at this. You get two windows, two gaps. Gap up, gap down. 215 is coming at you, man. That is pretty intense. We go to the NDX 100. Of course, I know Microsoft's going to be right in here now. Um, you get uh, moving it higher. JD.com. What's this? Web? Oh, Warner Brothers. Oh, that. Look at that. We got to find out why that got a hit on it. So Warner Brothers is up by eight and a half percent. That that's that's been a tough stock since it got um, spun off from AT and T. Pinduoduo is up eight, and you got Micron up seven. Taken away from it, Microsoft down four and a half percent. Datadog is down three and a half. You have uh, Baker Hughes off 2.7 and Honeywell's 2.1. So I want to go back to, yeah, I want to go back to Warner Brothers. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, so if we take a look at Warner Brothers. Okay, so lows 882, the highs 27. Well, it's come off the bottom. We'll see where this is shaking. Stay there, folks. Come right back.